Hey everybody, what's up? ChiliDude27 here, bringing you a new episode of Let's Interview. Today I have with me a special guest. Introduce yourself. Go ahead, do whatever. Hey everybody, my name's Unknown Shy Guy, or Kyle, or whatever. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> uh, yeah. And I'm, I'm here. Alright, so if you guys have ever... <laughs> If you guys have ever watched an episode, that's all right, man. If you've ever watched an episode of Let's Interview, you know how this works. I just ask him questions, we goof off and get off topic for a really long time. Whatever. Okay, so Kyle, how'd you get your username? My username. Oh man, I was I was dreading this question. Um, I sat down one day and I thought, hey, I want a username that I like and I thought of it and that's it there isn't even a story behind it I thought up of the username and said boom there's a username and that's that's it okay well uh, uh, that was quick I don't know I feel like most people they have a story behind it and it kind of annoys me that I don't well don't worry but, about it I mean I'm sure you have a story behind pretty much everything else right Right? Sure. Sure. Uh, uh, yeah, oh. of course. Yeah. Alright, so what's your favorite part about LPing? My favorite part about LPing? Ah, uh, this might sound like a weird answer, but probably my favorite part about LPing is interaction with other people. And, I mean, at the moment, there isn't very much compared to, you know, larger LPers' interaction with people. The whole concept, but, of, the whole concept of LPing is non-interaction. You sit alone in a room and talk to yourself. I, I think it's the interaction after that that I like. You know, what? not the part that makes me seem like some sort of psychopath. Believe me, I don't seem like. I'm not. I'm not a psychopath. I swear. I said seem like, not are. But you know, I don't know. It, uh, it's it's something interesting. I think. They won't tell the difference. Okay, but anyway. Um, okay, so, you know, other stuff, like getting out there with the community, like what we're doing right now. Yeah, it's, it's kind of nice because, really, you never know where, not where you could end up, but who you could end up meeting, for example, and just the kind of, uh, the kind of places you could end up. I mean... There's a lot of branching paths on YouTube. There's people like Nintendo Capri Sun, who ended up, you know, like grouped kind of with Chugga and Proton Johnson. But if you also go off, there's people like, um, I don't know if you have any idea what I'm talking about, like Sly Foxhound, the guy SSOHPKC, and people like that. And they make, like, groups. And you know what I mean? There's, like, there's groups around the Crystal Star Studio is another I can think of. And... As they group, it's like you make a living off of it, and you make friends, and I think that's amazing, personally. Well, yeah, I mean, like, okay, this this is interviewing you, not me. I'm going to keep my personal stories to myself. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I get what you're saying. You know, LPing is a great way to just get online, meet some awesome people, make some friends, you know, just do whatever. I mean... A lot of people don't seem to realize that, yeah, it's really, really fun. I mean, sure, the concept on paper, it sounds sad and pathetic and nerdy and stupid and sad and ner- okay. um, yeah, But it's actually, but, I, I but when you do it, it's actually really fun and it's a great way to meet people. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that yeah, the idea on paper is kind of like, you sit in a room, you talk to yourself, you throw it up on the internet for the world to see. It kind of seems like, is that, is that a thing? But it is a thing, honestly, when you get right down to it. And as you expose your videos to the world, if that's the proper way to term it, and you show, you know, what you can be and what you're capable of, you meet people, you get a following, and I think it just goes uphill. You can't really get worse. If that makes any sense. Well, there, well, there is a rock bottom, but yeah, I mean, you know, 
for the most part, all you really can do is just get better. I mean, if you look at some of my videos from when I first started out, it... I hate myself. I don't even know how that's possible. I think maybe a year ago, I was the most annoying idiot noob ever. I didn't know what I was talking about at all. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, the other day I went back and I looked at my very first video because... I was like, hey, you know, what did I sound like? I, I sounded like I was just emotionally distraught in the beginning. I was so bland and monotone, and I still feel like I am kind of monotone and bland, but not as bad as I used to be. No, oh, hey, my one-year anniversary is in four days. Oh, holy crap. Oh, <laughs> congratulations. Wait a minute. I, I thought you had been on YouTube for longer than me. Uh, my one year anniversary on this channel before I started. Okay. okay. When I started this. I have an older channel, but that died out because I lost motivation. Yeah, the, the Toad, whatever it was. Super, super Toad 1472, I think. I don't know, is that channel still around? Let me check. Super Toad 1472. No results. Yeah, YouTube, if your channel is basically inactive for people calling. <laughs> if your channel is inactive for long enough, YouTube will just delete it. They don't care. Yeah, um, but basically before, yeah, I had that random one, but I didn't like where it went. I didn't like how I was, so I quit it, and then a year or two later, which was basically a year ago, I said, hey, I think I want to try this again. Tried it again. I think it's going better than last time, personally. Uh, really, it, uh, I don't know. It's just, sure, it's like, if I go and look at my videos, you know, I have random, like, month-long gaps where I just don't even upload anything. And that is because, you know, I think it's kind of a, a almost an exponential type of thing where I'll sit down one day and I'll say, all right, want to record, I'll go to record and, you know, something will go wrong or, like, I'll not get the audio and I'm like, wow, that sucks. And the next day, I, you know, uh, I don't really want to record. And then the day after that, and it just goes until eventually I realize, I'm like, wow, my last video was uploaded a month and a half ago. And that's happened a good number of times, I think, actually. Maybe twice. Yeah, I mean... It's that, not really a good number of times. See, I... Per oh, sorry, sorry. I seem to have this bad problem with cutting people off. What? Nothing, nothing. Anyway. <laughs> so, finally on to the third question, maybe. Uh, what was your inspiration to start doing LPs? Like, who was your inspiration? You know, any sort. Okay. Let's see. I first found out about LPs through a YouTuber named, at the time, 900, uh, 900 Red Yoshi. Now, I was very new to concept of what it really was, and eventually, he, um, he did a co-op with Nintendo Capri Sun. I believe it was Donkey Kong Country 2. And I really liked this, you know, type of video, and I was like, that's pretty interesting. That led me to Nintendo Capri Sun. I learned a bunch about it from his videos, and that slowly led to, you know, discovering Chugga Conroy and Proton John and all of them. But mainly this guy, 900 Red Yoshi, who then eventually didn't like how his channel was, transferred over to a different account, which I believe at the moment it's Red Yoshi 91, I think? But eventually he slowly, you know, has turned himself into uh, not what he used to be, and he's happier with how that is, and basically that's, what was that, I don't know, uh, that's basically where I learned about what, you know, you, Let's Playing was and all that, and that's where I think I drew a majority of my inspiration, was him and CS and Boredom. Cool. Yeah. 
Okay, so how do you choose what games to LP? How do I choose what games to LP? Well, let's see. Uh, there's only like five at the moment, but uh, um, my very first LP, Kirby's Adventure. I've always really enjoyed Kirby as a game in full. When I, what, what the heck? I'm sorry, I just got a call on my phone. Um, okay, sorry about that. Uh, when I first decided on Kirby's Adventure, it was because I played through Kirby's Nightmare in Dreamland more times than I could probably count on my Game Boy Advance. And from there, I said, hey, this is a remake from an original NES game. I went and I played the NES game, and I loved it. And I just thought, I, I, just, I was thinking, okay, what do I want to LP first? And that was basically what came to mind, was I just thought, I should LP Kirby's Adventure. And I sat down, and I realized eventually that I had, you know, I had the knowledge to record everything fine. I went, I got an emulator, got a recording program, all that, and recorded an LP. Um, so, I don't know, I just always liked the game. And then Pokemon, I figured I was going to do a Pokemon game at some point. There was no way I wasn't going to. And Leaf Green is actually the only one I haven't played through. Leaf Green and Fire Red in full. I've played through the original Gen 1 GBA games. I actually have my copy of Blue right there. You can't see it, but I do. Uh, and just, I don't know. I just figured, why not do that one? Um, Land of the Dead was just a random game I knew about. Why not? Morrowind, which I hope to eventually pick back up after Halo. Uh, I just love that game. I love that game for so many reasons. I just can't even begin to explain it. And Halo, um, I used to be a lot better at that game, believe it or not. If you can trust me, I used to be able to solo run through that game on the hardest difficulty. And now I thought, oh, I'll go back, I'll play that game, it'll be awesome. You know, no, I suck at the game. I haven't played it in like four years. I was terrible, but I said, no, I'm going to get better and I'm going to finish this LP. Uh, I think that's all I've lp I have a couple of random little games, flash games, but those are just kind of something I found. Good for you, man, finishing what you start. Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh. Okay, so what is your favorite genre of game? Ooh, my favorite, sorry. Um, or my favorite, sorry, my favorite genre. Um, ooh. I need to, I need to, like, think that through. Um, I'm a huge fan of RPGs, but at the same time, I hate having to grind for levels. Action RPGs, like Secret of Mana, Sword of Mana, games like that, I also love. You know, I think I'd have to say, actually, which is a really random, it's not really a common genre, but Tower Defense. Like, Plants vs. Zombies. Um, there isn't really a main... Not mainstream, but any, like, really big... You know, big developer... Nintendo... Microsoft... Sony, that kind of thing. Like, tower defense games. It's mainly Flash games, iPod apps. There's a couple of DS games, probably. But really, it's... It's a lower... You know, genre. But I really like the games of tower defense. I like the puzzle aspect... But I also like the strategy aspect, where you really need to almost do, like, math to... Not math, but, you know. Like, Plants vs. Zombies. For, I love Plants vs. Zombies. Uh, and would probably do an LP of it in the future. Speaking of... Oh, I'm sorry. sorry, sorry after, after you. I keep interrupting people. No, after you. After you. Speaking of Plants vs. Zombies, funny story. Um, okay, PopCap, they have, like, this deal with Microsoft... Basically speaking, when you buy a Microsoft computer and you get Windows 7, you get to play Plants vs. Zombies Game of the Year Edition for free, supposedly forever, because you bought the computer and you get the game with it. I played it twice. I played it twice, and they told me they had and told me I had run out of unlimited tries. What? Cool. 
Um, I bought the game when it first came out, so. Oh, I, I don't envy have that you, issue. Sir. I envy you, sir. Okay, so. You can if, totally hear me typing, can't you? I was wondering what the clicking was. So. Sorry. Keep it down! Now, what advice would you give to upcoming LPRs? What advice? Let's see. Hmm. If, for whatever reason, you feel like... Yeah, okay. Really, when you first start out, I don't think you should expect to go somewhere fast. I don't think you should expect that after you upload, say, seven, eight videos, you shouldn't expect to randomly get some huge upbringing of subscribers. You know, it's just like your channel just takes off. Because, really, and even if you don't expect that, you shouldn't be in it for the subscribers anyway. You should be there to really be yourself, have a good time doing it, and you'll get there, you know, you'll get up there, and you'll become a name if you just keep at it and be yourself. Also, don't be me and go, like, four months without uploading a video for no reason. But no, I mean, in all fairness, Kyle, your channel is pretty good. I mean, you have covered a good, you know, a wide sort of array of different types of games. I mean, you're diverse. I, I think it is kind of weird, yeah. Like, there isn't very many games that I don't like. Oh, also, also one thing on the, what, for uh, upcoming up here is, if YouTube ever says there's an issue with your video and you could improve it, Never select that option, because it'll just make it look worse. You know what I mean? You have, like, a little wand underneath your, uh, yes. your video. It's like, yes. there's shakiness in your video. We could improve it. Don't. No, it does not improve it. Okay, I don't know how they did this, but they did that for one of my Twilight Princess videos. You know the little heads-up display that's, like, around the screen? You know, it shows your rupees and your health and everything like that? Yeah, yeah. Somehow, they took that and made it float around just that I don't it, know it does that for um I don't know how does that sorry <laughs> oh. Oh, gosh. um it does that for my halo videos cause it has the heads up display with like the ammo and stuff and I don't I don't know YouTube needs to figure itself out oh yeah by the way um if YouTube ever says there's a copyright with your video, a copyright claim with your video, and you know that there isn't, don't even try to tr oh. prove that there's nothing. Don't even yeah. try. Yeah. Um, I went through that with that on a Super Toad, actually. Why? What happened? I had um. Oh man, what was it? I'm trying to think of the game I had up there. Um, it was. Uh. The concept is don't talk back to us. We can do whatever we want. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Do you um? If do you even get partnerships anymore? Is that still a thing? Yeah, that's still a thing. You can still do it. You know, that's how people make money on their videos to begin with. That's how people actually get a job working for YouTube. But oh my gosh, I'm a partner. You are. Apparently. How are you a partner? Uh. Hang on. Whoops. Not what I meant to do. Still not what I meant to do. That. Right here. That. Partner. Verified. Huh. Huh. Uh huh. I don't know. Why? I can mo modernization. So I could do that. I can upload videos longer than 15 minutes. Custom thumbnails. I was so unaware of this. I mean, I knew the 50 minutes thing. But... Wait, 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 wait. Hang on a second. I want to check something here. I, okay. I don't know. <laughs> I 
Okay, but here's the thing. I can upload videos longer than 15 minutes. I can do custom thumbnails. I can pretty much do all of that, so... I don't know. I might be a partner. Let me check this. Go I'm, check out your channel settings. <laughs> some, something tell... They should, they should notify me about this if I actually am. Yeah. Here, let me... I'm putting the interview on hold. I'm being unprofessional. I don't care. I always talk about how I'll, uh... I'll, like, text during my videos. Oh, it's so bad when I do that. Kyle, do me a favor and keep talking. Okay. Um... So... No moron from the past. Don't talk. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think of a subject here. I'm just gonna look around my room really quick. Oh, I got an idea. Hang on. Okay. Just keep doing whatever. I'll distract him. Okay.